Thank you for joining us again on the newsroom. Microblog Inside Twitter has reacted to the federal government's decision to lift the restrictions placed on it in Nigeria since June 2021, while expressing satisfaction that the microblogging site has been restored for everyone in Nigeria, the Twitter policy team pledged its deep commitment to the country where the site is used for commerce, cultural engagement and civic participation. Twitter was made accessible in Nigeria on Thursday after the government lifted its seven-month ban on the social media network. President Muhammadu Buhari has paid a visit to Ogun State to commission some infrastructural projects. The president, who arrived on Thursday morning, was received by dignitaries including the state governor Dakbo Abiodun, Lagos State Governor Babachide Sonwolu, Ogun State former governor Benga Daniel, among others. The projects, according to the state government, are expected to bring direct benefits to residents of the state and improve the socio-economic development of the state as one of as one that's emerging companies in the country. Governor Kayade Fayemi of Ekiti State on Wednesday has met the All Progressives Congress leader Ashiwa Jubala Tinubu over the forthcoming APC governorship primaries in Ekiti State and the 2023 presidential polls. According to reports, Governor Fayemi, who is also the chairman of the Nigerian Governors Forum, had discussions with Tinubu over the latter's presidential ambition and the need to ensure that the Southwest gets the APC presidential ticket. Fayemi's visit to Tinubu comes barely two days after the national leader revealed his intention to contest the presidency. In COVID stories, France has announced that it will relax its restrictions for people travelling from the UK from Friday. This comes after the government placed travel restrictions on December 18, 2021 in an attempt to slow the spread of the Omicron variant. Vaccinated travellers will no longer need a compelling reason to enter France or self-isolate when they arrive. However, a negative COVID-19 test taken 24 hours before leaving the UK will be required, whether vaccinated or not. In business, the Kano State Executive Council has approved 500 million naira as counterpart funding for the implementation of a six-year World Bank-assisted project. This was made known by the Commissioner for Information, Mohamed Garba, while briefing newsmen on the outcome of the council meeting on Wednesday. According to him, the project is aimed at increasing the adoption of climate resilience landscape management practices and enhancing livelihood in the targeted arid and semi-arid watersheds in northern Nigeria. Egyptian President Abdul Fattah al-Sisi has broken his silence over the military coup in neighboring Sudan and the ongoing protests calling for civilian rule. Egypt has faced several accusations of siding with Sudan's head of military, Abdel Fattah al bohan but President Sisi has, however, dismissed the claims. He thereafter urged both the military rulers and the protesters to embrace dialogue to end the political crisis. In sports, Newcastle has announced the signing of striker Chris Wood from fellow Premier League strugglers Burnley. The 30-year-old, who has signed a two-and-a-half-year contract, has moved to St. James Park for an undisclosed fee. Wood becomes the club's second signing this month following the arrival of England international fullback Kieran Trippier from Atletico Madrid. The New Zealand international scored 53 goals in 165 matches for Burnley since joining from Leeds in 2017, including three goals in 21 games this season. That's the update at this hour. Join us next time for more news stories. I'm Simi Soladikon.